Hey everyone, it's Shams at Mascara and today we are back with another video. This time we will be focusing on the Mascara Water Deagle Selection. And boy oh boy is there a selection of water deagles on that website. Good luck to you when you go on there and select what you want because if you're like me, you probably just end up clicking one of everything. <laughs> but anyway, if you are not such a fan of foils, then water deagles is the next best option for you. So I'm going to take you through specifically today how to apply the full cover water deagles. Because I know that the smaller ones are fairly easy to apply, but these are the ones that we tend to shy away from. So we either get them in like a rounded back or we get them in a square. But it doesn't matter which end it is, um, it's always daunting for people when they look at these decals and they think, how are we going to apply this? Um, it's not that hard. I'm going to show you how I apply my full cover decals. And hopefully, this is going to make life very easy for you because water decals are they're superman. You get all these cute designs. Look at this marble. We're going to work with this marble one today. And yeah, it's going to make your life so much easier when it comes to doing nail art for customers. So you see, you don't have to be the world's best freehand painter. There is something out there for you. And if you're like me, I love using water deagles because I love anything that makes things go quicker at my manicure table because I know my customers don't have a lot of time to spend sitting there waiting for me to finish my little portraits that I sometimes want to do. So let me take you through what you need to do a full cover mascara water decal. Right, so you will need your water decal and please take note of your water decal because sometimes it actually tells you what base color you need to use. And normally when it tells you to use a white base, it's because it's going to allow the colors of the decal to really pop when you put it on your customer's nails. Some of them don't have an indication, so it means that you're pretty free to stick it on any color. But usually when it says white, you use a white base. You will need your nail art tweezers these are pretty nifty for picking up your decal and you can use the little rubber tipped end to pick up the decal or rub it down as well um, we're also going to use a jelly stamper so you don't have to use the jelly stamper but i'm going to show you how the jelly stamper can help you when it comes to actually applying the decal to the nail so keep your jelly stamper ready um, you will need a scissor to cut out your decal and you will need either a velvet mat top or your carbon top coat. I think we will work with carbon today because we've done quite a few videos using the velvet mat top coat. And then you're going to need the must have ingredient, your protein bond. I never stick a decal on without protein bond. I believe that this is what makes the decal stay on the nail. It just gives you like, like really awesome adhesion. So protein bond and then you will need a little bit of pure acetone and a brush okay so make sure your brush is like a nice old cleanup brush it doesn't I don't like sticking any of my sort of work brushes that I use for applications into acetone all the time so I always have one that is my dedicated cleanup brush and I love the flat rose gold one because it can get into like all those corners we needed to get into so this and pure acetone is a must and then just a little bit of plain old tap water where we are going to use this tap water to slide our decal off so that's going to basically release the decal from its backing so just a little bit of water and don't confuse your acetone and water so always mark your dish clearly okay or well, maybe just use the acetone at the end when we're going to clean up. Right, so without any more chitter chatter, let us begin our application. I have saved us some time and I have painted three coats of Malibu by Jalet on my nail. So this is my background and now we are going to use our full cover decal to get it stuck onto this nail. So this is where things become a little bit daunting. So you've got to kind of find your size by holding your chart of decals 
onto the nail and just sort of gauging to see which one is going to be your closest fit. You want to try and get a fit that gets into the corners quite nicely. It doesn't need to go all the way into the corners, but as close as possible. So don't take your decal too short. Otherwise, you're going to have a situation where it is going to actually be too short on the sides and you're going to see a lot of your color showing through. So size your decal and once you're happy with that, we are then going to move on to the next step of placing the decal in the water to release it. So I've got my decal cut out. I'm going to make sure that there's no plastic on it, but usually if you're cutting, then the protective plastic, if you can't see it like me, who's in denial and not wearing her glasses, if you can't see it, it will normally like lift off when you cut your decal. So this one doesn't have that protective plastic on it at the moment, but I'm going to use my water and I'm going to just stick my decal into the water. You've got two options here. You can leave it soaking in the water for a while or you're just going to press it down, lift it out with your tweezer and then just place it down on your paper and allow the excess water to drain off and just give it a minute so that it allows the decal to release from its backing. So once it releases, so we are going to slide the decal off and we're going to place this decal onto our jelly stamper. Right, so this one should be loose. Normally these types of designs that don't have the metallics in them, they usually are the ones that release quite fast. So you can place it on your jelly stamper and you can just slide off your backing and then your decal is there, ready for use on the jelly stamper. And it also gives you the opportunity to just make sure that you can straighten out any corners or any air pockets that could be on your little design. Because remember, we're working with the bigger decal now. So we just want to make sure we have everything nice and neat. And then we're good to go to apply it onto our fail. Right, so we just, there we go, smoothing out this decal. And no, it should not get stuck to your jelly stamper. Right, so we're good to go for our application. So the next thing we're going to do is use our protein bond. And we're going to apply a layer of protein bond over the whole nail. Just be careful you don't use too much protein bond because it could run onto the skin and we don't really want to have that type of situation happening. So give your protein bond a minute to just set on the nail and then we're going to use our jelly stamper and we can transfer our design onto our nail almost as if we were actually stamping somebody's nail. Right, so there we go. Perfecto. Got my decal in place and now you can use your little backing tool on your tweezer and you can smooth down the sides. Now I know the next question is going to be Shams, there's a big overhang on that decal. What do we do with everything that's sticking out on the sides? Well, you can use your nail file or you could use some peel acetone to get rid of all that little filings, or I should say overhangs on the side. So I don't know if you remember back in the day when we used to work with the full cover um, nail foils, which were on the sticky backings, we used to actually use this technique when we did the full covers. So I'm just going to make sure you can use your fingers as well, just make sure you're wearing a glove that you are not getting any sort of product residue onto your skin because we want to avoid overexposure to any of the products that we're using with. Okay, so now that I've got my decal in place and I've got this little overhang here, use your nail file and gently just file in the free edge. Those little overhangs 
will gently gently just break off on the edges your decal will stay in place because of the protein bond and you'll be good to go for your top coat so look how easy this is and you've got a nice neat free edge that doesn't have any lifting and any chance of the decal lifting off the nail because that's usually what people contact me with they keep saying the decals are lifting and it could just be because they are not removing the residue along the sides of the overhang of the depot. So keep just working into your sides very, very gently. So it's not like you're filing away. We're just taking the excess away of the actual water depot. And you can give it a bit of a dust now. And there we have the decal in place. Now remember I said to you, you can use a little bit of acetone. So if you still find that you have any product or residue on the skin, you can use a little bit of acetone and wipe into the sides and it will melt any of the residue away that could be on the sides of your nail. So we are now ready to move on to our top coat to finish and seal our water decal. So we are going to use our non-wipe top coat and again, it's usually when it gets to this phase where people sort of look at things and they think, I don't like how it looks, but you know, wait for the top coat guys, because the top coat is like your all finishing factor. The filter of the nail. So here we go. We're using our non-wipe top coat in the carbon selection. So this is going to give you a super high shine. Make sure you get all the way to the sides. And if you want to, you can do a double coat. So if you feel you want to double coat your customer, you can do so. So we're going to cure our carbon for 60 seconds and then we're going to show you what the decal looks like as an end. Here you have it. Hmm. I love how it's finished. Look how nice the edges have sealed off. You don't have to worry about anything lifting on the free edge because you filed it so it's sealed in beautifully with your top coat. And I just keep, look at that amazing result. So don't be afraid of the full cover decals guys. They're actually quite easy to work with. You just have to be gentle with them. Try using the jelly stamper method if you find that just using them with your fingers can be a bit of a struggle. Um, it really works for me. So I hope to see a lot more full cover decals. You could bling this up with a little bit of gems. Um, it's just, to me, it's quick and easy and so effective. So if you're looking for that detail and you want that full cover finish, try the mascara full cover water decals. I'm sure you will fall in love with the results every time. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another exciting video coming up soon.